Hi there, today we're unboxing quite a cool tool here. So this particular one is by Evolution and it's the Art 210 MTS. So this particular tool actually is both a mitre cutting saw and a table saw combined into one. So quite a cool bit of kit here. Now in terms of power, it's 1200 watts. The blade that's included, it's 210 millimeters. It does a variety of different cuts. So you can do cross cuts, bevel cuts, mitre cuts, and compound cuts. The blade that included saw, the multi-material. So you can cut a variety of different materials with this, which is quite impressive with a single blade. It comes with a three year warranty on there. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So obviously the main item here is the table saw, mitre saw, got some instruction manuals, rear stabilizing arms, a pin spanner for replacing blade, two hex keys, five mil, six mil, dust bag adapter, a clamp here for holding down wood, and then you've got the fence guard adapter here, so it goes here to help you guide through the wood, and then a push stick to assist you in pushing wood through so you don't have to get your fingers too close laid. Okay, so I've turned the saw around and let's attach two stabilizing arms on there. So there's two screws either side there. We just take these screws off and then attach these arms onto there. Okay, so the two stabilization arms are on now, firmly secured, built of plastic, I would have preferred if they were of metal and strong steel. This is the dust extraction adapter. So that can be placed just there and you can attach a hoover onto this area here. Okay, so we've got the clamping adapter next. There's two locations for that. You can even fit it on this side, which is a bit tight if you do attempt it. But I guess if you did have a long piece of wood coming out, you could attach it here or the easier positioning would be on this side. So just show that going in. Loosen that, sits in, and you can just tighten it. Simple as that. The next thing to show is fence and put that along here. So this piece here has a small metal clip at the bottom and that sits in place just in this location. And you can just tighten it up so it sits firmly into position and then locks onto these bolts at the side. So if I come in, loosen it up a bit, and again here, there you go, sits in position. Quite a cool design on there. And again, if I go like that, it's adjustable. And if we loosen here, can go in at an angle as well, just to get an angular cut on there. So it moves both ways. Okay, so next, let's focus on the actual saw itself. Build quality is really good, a really solid construction to it. So you've got a metal plate here to guide your wood along. In terms of actual adjustments to use either mode, you've got details here, just showing you how to put it into either mode. I'll show each one, one at a time. So in table saw mode, you've got to ensure this lower blade guard is in place, and then there's a couple of buttons to click and adjustments to make, and then, you're in table saw mode. So one of the things to be aware of, obviously angle wise, it has to be on zero. So it can't be at an angle if you're gonna use it in table saw mode. There's the other few adjustments. There's a little retaining screw here. So if I adjust that, you can lift this up and down. So obviously that has to be flat as well and locked into position. Let me lock that now. And then if I come round this way and lift it up, you've got a little locking mechanism here. So if I pull that out, it pops up and that's how you take blade guard out just here. So I'll put it back into position and simple as that. So if we take it out, I can bring it round and to get it into a mitre saw position, we'll just loosen this, pull that up and lock it into position. And there you go can we use as a mitre saw then. So excellent construction of this and great 
idea of having both together. Instability, so if you wanted to cut an angle, and just adjust it here and lock it into position. I don't actually like this particular locking mechanism. I like the other ones they had on their previous saws and the other saws they have, where there's a strong solid clamp at the bottom and you can just hold it and adjust it. But I guess this is what they've had to do as part of the design considerations for this. And then these items are adjustable as well, if I can show, so this can actually move along. This is a solid piece, this doesn't move. And again, if I bring it round, for instance, let's pull it round, lock it into position, click here, brings it in. And just to show here at the back, adjuster to actually turn it to get an angled cut. So there you go. Pretty straightforward to use and build quality is really good on it. Okay, so I'm in my shed now and I've got the mitre saw table saw set up on a mitre saw stand. It's actually just sitting straight on lamps here at the side, so it is loose. It's not attached on, you can attach it, but with the rubber feet, it's actually not too bad. It does grip quite well, so a reasonable base to cut off. So for the first test, I'm gonna do a bit of decking board on there. So quite a chunky bit of wood there. And if I get my tape measure, you can actually see how thick it is. So about two centimeters thick. Now, this is the thing about having a table saw. So obviously you can push wood straight through there, which is quite an advantage. So let's show this in action. So you've got two buttons here, green and red. If I press green, powered on now. There you go, really nice clean cut on that, as you can see. Okay, and it works quite well with push tool. And again, a very clean cut on there, nice and smooth. No chipping at all either, so it works really well. And simple to adjust, so if I adjust this one more time. Again, simple as that, I push it into position. There you go, another really clean cut. It's a really nice sharp blade on there. Okay, so you've seen it in action as a table saw. Next, let's go into mitre saw mode. So let me turn off the plug, pin here, I'm gonna release that, lift this up, and table saw part, I'll lift that. So again, you've got ample space to actually control it. And then next, let me take the guard off here at the bottom. Lots of bits and pieces there. And there you go, it's ready to be used now in a mitre saw mode. Okay, so we've got some architrave here and we'll show cutting 45 degree angle on there. Just straight forward, just loosen it there. Loosen a bit more, just twist it, lock it into position. Then you've got the clamp here to hold it into position. And there you go, locked in. Now, if I start up the saw, and it works just off the trigger, so these options don't work anymore, just to show. Nice clean cut on there and very precise just to show. I'm gonna cut some aluminium. There we have some here. We'll clamp it in.
there you go very nice clean cut on there as you can see and no issues cutting through that okay so i've got some plastic pipe work here just to show it cutting through there nice clean cut on there I'll move the bits away that you can see so we've got a chunky bit of wood here just to show you the actual sizing on that comes in at around four and a half centimeters and seven centimeters and we're just going to chop straight into that just to show it in action. Very nice smooth cut again and no issues with that going through a chunky bit of wood like that. I've got some wood which is hardwood here from a door frame so let me do a straight cut straight into that. No dramas at all, look at that, goes straight through and a very nice smooth finish on there so we've got some timber here with screws in there so let's try cutting through that hold it into position here no issues at all look at that and just to show so we've got a plate of steel in here now let's give it a go going through that There you go, like cutting through butter. Unbelievable, so easy to go through. So we've got another pit of steel in there, all clamped down. So let's see that being cut. unreal how strong this blade is no issues cutting through there and just to give you an idea thickness of this I'll come in just to show so it's about three to four mil in thickness very impressive so one of the things to mention obviously this isn't a sliding miter so keep that in mind the size of wood you can cut in this is probably limited to about 12 and a half centimeters but you do obviously have the table saw at the top to be able to cut larger pieces of wood so that's quite useful as well now in terms of cutting you should only be using softer materials on here like wood or plastic for example the harder materials like steel or aluminium that's where you use the, the miter saw itself for that Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this table saw come miter saw. Really excellent functionality built into this saw. Dual functionality, cutting wise, very impressive what you can cut through. This is thick, chunky deck board there, no issues there. Piece of wood with screws lodged in there, just cut straight through there. The blade itself is phenomenal, the fact that it doesn't struggle with anything. Miter cut here on some architrave, bit of steel, you know, no dramas at all going through this and a thick, chunky bit of 
hardwood here, which was used on a door frame. So there you go. Highly recommend this. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.